Hello, I'm Pranav Prakha. Let's take a look at newspaper headlines published from Delhi today. First, the Times of India. July 1 date with GST looks set as council clears all bills. Action shift to parliament and assemblies. Three months for tax revolution. GST council approves the remaining two of five bills concerning tax regime. GST is a uniform tax code for India and it is as good as it could be equated with is European Union where there is a uniform tax code. Moving ahead, IGI choked. No new peak hour flight in Delhi this summer. Generate own power for price of a phone. Rooftop solar panels producing one kilowatt of power are now within the reach of common man. Uber cabbie harasses women, throw her out. Two federal judges block Trump's new travel ban, rejecting arguments from the Trump administration that its new travel ban was different from the first one. Two federal judges blocked the executive order, saying it was against Muslims. Moving ahead to the Hindustan time, GST panel clears bill, FMC's July 1 rollout, legal backing, cabinet, parliament, next stops after states agree. Supreme Court panel says can't cap age or number of neat attempts. Cracks appear in Goa Congress as Parikar proves majority. Train attackers left message. It is gift from IS chief. The investigation into the March 7 Bhopal Ujjain passenger train blast reveals that it was meant to be an announcement of the arrival of Indian chapter of Islamic State. Very concerning story there. Moving ahead to the Hindu newspaper. Parikar government sails through trust vote in Goa. 22 votes in favor and sole NCP members support. Health spending to be 2.5% of GDP. Clears the long-awaited new policy with assurance of health care for all. So Modi government's two flagship program in the coming. One is GST to be rolled out from July 1st and then the health for all. GST laws ready for assembly parliament. Captain begins second inning in Punjab. Moving ahead to the Indian Express. PM asks BJP MPs to push young leaders. Government schemes. Sa sounds poll alert. As Parikar wins floor test, Congress Amelius goes missing. Later resigns. Arvind Subramanyam to get two more years at CEA. So that's all we have in this edition of English dailies. Before we move on to the business dailies, we'll take a short break. Don't go away. सुनते रहिए तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग डिवोशनल आध्यात्म से जुड़े तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो पर सुनना मत भूलें हमारा खास पेशकश बातें हिंदुस्तान की आप सुन रहे हैं तरंग ऑनलाइन रेडियो वेलकम बैक इन द बिजनेस डेलीज टुडे द मिंट न्यूज़पेपर जीएसटी क्लोजर टू रियलिटी एज काउंसिल क्लियर्स लास्ट टू बिल्स निफ्टी टचेस न्यू हाई ऑन फेड स्टैंड्स स्पोर्ट्स स्पॉन्सरशिप ग्रो 19% इन 2016 इन अ ईयर व्हेन एडवर्टाइजिंग बिजनेस ग्रो ओनली 11.89% Sports sponsorship grew 19.33 in 2016 to touch 6,400 crore. But that's a good number, but only uh, if, we, uh, if we can relate it to Western Europe, where the sports advertisement is 60 to 70% of total advertisement budget in Western Europe. So if it is 19% or let's say 19.33% in India, long way to march ahead. Honda looks to make in India to take on Enfield Bullet. Vedanta's Anil Agarwal to buy 2.4 billion Anglo-American stake in De Beers' parent company. Moving on ahead to the economic times. Well, Fed bull continued to charge ahead on Dalal Street. Stock indices hit record. Rupee at 16-month high after US Fed sticks to stance on gradual rate hike. Vinod Rai slams bank inaction on bad loan. BJP government at work in Lucknow even before swearing in. Iron 2019 BJP starts work on poll vows like law and order, power and farm loan waiver. Agarwal metals road to Anglo with 2.4 billion bid. 
eyes 13% in DBS owner Anglo-American PLC insist it is not a hostile bid for British mining giant. GST closer to July 1 rollout as council reaches agreement on key issues. So that's all we have in this edition of Business Dailies. Tomorrow we'll be back once again. It's goodbye from me, Pranap Prakha.